Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. Hope you had an amazing week in this week's Parsha, Parsha's Bo. So the Torah continues with the story of the Jewish people, their exodus from Egypt, with the last three of the plagues coming, the locusts, the darkness, and the sling of the firstborn. And Hashem says to Moshe, all this is happening. In order that you should relate over how I toyed with the Egyptians in Egypt. Now, what we want to understand is what's this idea of relating over like a story? It doesn't say in order that you should teach them like Torah lil mode. It says lesaper, which means a, from the word sipur in Hebrew, which means a story. We have to like say it over as a story. What's the difference between saying over as a story or teaching? And also, what's this idea of Hashem toying with the Egyptians? And what's the idea behind it? So it's important to understand as follows. Now, we've, we know in the past that when Hashem has destroyed other nations, whether it was Sodom or whether it was the generation of the flood, Hashem just simply sent the flood, destroyed them, and killed them. He didn't toy with them. And when the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, when Hashem wiped them out, also Hashem didn't toy with them. He sent a fire of sulfur and ashes, and he burnt the entire town. Everybody there got destroyed. Yet here, when it came to Egypt, Hashem toyed with the Egyptians to the point that he like ridiculed them and made them feel like, like nothings. And what's, what, what's, what's exactly this happening? Why did Hashem toy with them? So we have to understand that there's an essential difference, a huge difference between Hashem taking vengeance upon the people of Sodom and the Egyptians. When it came to the time for Hashem to take vengeance against the people of Sodom and Gomorrah or the, the generation of the flood, Hashem simply was meeting out punishment because that's what they deserved. But over here, something entirely different was happening. Over here, an entire nation was being born. The Jewish people were being born. Their amuna, their faith in Hashem was starting right now. And in order for that faith to be instilled so deeply within them that it should be part of our DNA, my DNA, your DNA today, something amazing had to have happened back then. Now what Hashem did is Hashem showed His might through all the plagues that He sent to the, that he sent to the Egyptians. Now those plagues that the Egyptians received, as we've discussed in the past, Every time Hashem punishes somebody, He punishes them measure for measure. Mida connected mida. In a way that a person sins, that's how Hashem pays him back. In a way that a person torments somebody else, that's how Hashem pays him back. And that's what Hashem was doing to the Egyptian people. And the Jewish people saw that. And the Jewish people also saw it. They felt that there was also a love coming from Hashem. You kind of, if your friend goes to fight with you, so... He takes up your fight, takes up your cause. You know that he that he loves you, and if he helps you even more, he loves you. You know he loves you even more. But if he toys with your toy mentors and he teaches them a lesson and he talks down to them, now you know that he's really got your back. And when Hashem when, when Hashem displayed to the Jewish people how much he had their back, the Jewish people felt that and it got inside them. Now here's the clincher that I want to share with you. It's not like you might think, well, Hashem did that for them because you know who they were. They were these incredibly righteous people. They were all learned. They were a bunch of, I mean, they were on their level. But they were amazing. But you, we might think that they were all amazing. And it's not true. Hashem, the, the, our Chazal tells us that the, that the Jewish people in Egypt, they were on the 49th level of impurity. They were sinking lower and lower and lower, down, to the, down nearly to the abyss. And Hashem had to make it happen now because, to pull them out in order they shouldn't fall into the quagmire that was Egypt. And Hashem took them out, and Hashem displayed the, His love for them, even though what? Even though they weren't the best of Jews. And we might think, well, Hashem, not going to do anything for me. After all, Sami Isaac said, who are you? You're a nobody. Hashem doesn't care about me. And you might think, whoever you are watching, you might think, yeah, but me, I, I'm a nobody. It's not true. The Jewish people were nobodies at, at that time in Hashem's eyes, and Hashem didn't think that they were nearly at the highest level that they could be. But he did these wonders for us anyway. And that's this idea that the Torah is saying you have to relate it over into, this, into the ears of your sons. You have to relate it over into your own ears. It has to be like a story. A story is you feel it all. You get all emotional about it. And Hashem specifically wanted that. He wants us to go through the myriad of details that he did for us and the miracles that were wrought upon the Egyptian. And he wants us to know that how he toyed with them. That's, his, that's Hashem showing us his love for us. 
And that is the very essence of who we are as a nation. That's why this month, or the month of Niso, when the Jews went out, that's why it's considered the first month of the year, because that's the month that the, that the nation of the Jewish people were, were created. And so therefore we have to know that Hashem toyed with the Egyptians for our sake, that did in, instill with us a everlasting faith in Him, and we have that down till today. And don't think that you're not on a good level, you're not on a high level. Hashem still loves you. He's still wishing to show you that He loves you. So continue on doing what you're doing, but just remember that Hashem knows that you're doing, that He can do whatever you want. We do for Him, He does for us. When it's time for us to be redeemed from any of our troubles, it'll happen like that. Have a great Shabbos. Thank you for listening. This video is dedicated to my wife's aunt and uncle. Parrots and Figure Pearl upon their son Shmuel's engagement. Mazel tov.